I would encourage youth to listen to the voices that support them, that they are capable of moving ahead of where they are. Because I know a lot of um, the life, uh, I guess, course of Indigenous youth on the reserve and off reserve, and that sometimes it's overwhelming and it's, um, you know, sometimes it's not the best life that that we would like for our children, especially children in, in care. And I would say not to give up hope that uh, we have the intelligence, we have ancestral knowledge in our genes, we have so many gifts that we've been given. Look for those gifts and um, try, you know, uh, find ways to develop them and then to share them. Um, to young people, I would say find whatever it is that you're good at and do it. Um, become that person, become like that person, not necessarily in terms of the, the skill set they have, but in terms of how they behave and how they treat people and what, uh, what they say and what they do and how they think. Um, and I realize now that probably um, when I was thinking about my future um, as a young boy, uh, the greatest influences I have were reading those biographies about uh, Mandela, about uh, Martin Luther King, about John F. Kennedy, about uh, uh, Mahatma Gandhi, uh, because I, <clears throat> uh, in reading about them and, and understanding them and reading what they said, I was greatly influenced by their kindness. I was influenced by their thoughts uh, for others and their dedication to changing the world to make it a better place for everybody. Well, we're, we're talking to students right now, right? Yeah. So we're talking to students. And I think one of the, some of the, as a mother, okay, four children, they're all adults now, the baby's 29. And, <laughs> and some of the things that, that I have, have said to them, and that I have tried to believe in myself is that you have to listen to your heart. You know what's right. When you're making those tough decisions about going one way or another is listen, close your eyes and listen to what your heart has to say. And if you really get stuck, write it out on a little piece of paper and put it under your pillow and sleep on it. And then you'll know the answer. You'll know the answer because you'll look inside your heart. Ask for help, ask the ancestors for help all of we've all got ancestors that we can ask for help there are spirits all around us and they're they've got their hands on your shoulders trust trust them and trust yourself and uh and you're going to be okay the one of the things that i've noticed is you know i'm on TikTok, i'm on you know twitter and facebook and all of these social media platforms and they really take a lot of time they they um take away from the time that young people would have been spending reading. And I, uh, I think that reading in many ways saved me. I think reading in many ways uh, provided sometimes an escape from the reality I was living in. Other times it helped me to understand how other people think. It, it challenged my ideas around uh, the way that I saw the world, just reading fiction. And I, it really worked for me. I, I think that reading is still at the at its core such a an important activity to do. And it's so it's so awesome the, the escape that it provides. It can transport us to other worlds. I really love science fiction too. And you know, I, I loved being transported to someplace completely different and to be able to uh, think about really important things from the perspective of a person living on another planet who might be green skinned or whatever. I used to love that stuff. And I, I, I hope that young people are still embracing that, that we're not, they're not so consumed by social media and by eight second or one minute videos that they don't, you know, develop a love of that, that novel, you know, or a three novel series. Oh my goodness. Like I get so excited thinking about, you know, um, a good book. So that's what I would say, read. No, I think we've covered it, but I would say to youth, uh, you know, 
a life's journey is not necessarily a straight line. And if you believe in yourself, and this is First Nation individuals in Indigenous youth, um, we all come from varied backgrounds. Some of us may be more broken than others, but if you put a positive step forward, look for ways to improve, you know, uh, the quality of your life. Because I always say, I'm responsible for myself and no one else's, you know. So that's how I looked at it in life. And that's why I always wanted to look at ways to improve myself. So, you know, if you look at it from that perspective, I think anything's possible for us. Anything's possible. Just keep at it and uh, it will happen.